Playing Sunday League, I went to go and watch my dad's uh, friends team. I was a, I was a year younger than the uh, than the boys playing, and um, I had my joggers on and I had a pair of boots and just nothing on. And my dad's friend just chucked me on. He said, "Look, come on for the last uh, the last five minutes." I just ran on with a pair of jogger bottoms on. I was only about five or six years old. I ran on with a pair of jogger bottoms on, changed tops with the the, 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 the boy I come on with, and, and just went and played football. Really? Yeah. Were you brilliant as soon as you ran onto that pitch? All the blokes going, "Hang on, who's this five-year-old?" I was quick. I remember I had a bit of speed about me. I back, <laughs> Kick him. Yeah, Kick that's him. it. Back then I was a right winger. I used to just. Yeah, I used, to be, I used to be rapid back then. I think some over, over, the, over the years I've lost my pace now and just yeah. gone more central as opposed to, to being on the right. Stephen Gerrard was always someone I looked up to. Stevie always. Jim. Yeah, I actually wrote him a letter years ago and never, return, never returned it, but what? I, I didn't expect him to. I, put, I think I sent it to, to Liverpool training ground or something when I was about six or seven years old. What did it say? I really want to be a professional footballer. I want to be like you. Can you give me some advice and some, some help and, on what you think I need to do? And I mean, I don't even know if I sent it to the right, the right address. It probably got lost in the post office somewhere along the way. But uh, yeah, it was just along the lines of just, you know, like a little fan, fan boy, yeah. just, you know, could you help me out? Could you give me some advice? Blah, 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 that, that kind of thing. He's never got back to you? <laughs> no. That's a little bit. Still waiting for it now. Really? Yeah. Have you yeah. told him? No, I've never, I've never met him. You're not? No. Predators. I do, that's predators, yeah. yeah. The big tongue. Oh, the ones yeah. that go over the top. Yeah, that was it, yeah, with, the, with the strap that goes underneath the yeah, underneath yeah. the blade. The original, the first colour, red and black, I think they yeah, were. Yeah. yeah, them ones, yeah. Did you score some weldies? I did, yeah, back then. <laughs> I was getting back and <laughs> scored some. <laughs> getting back and score some missiles. <laughs> <up. laughs> it would have been, when, I think, when we were sponsored by Holston. I was just yeah, saying yeah, that. I, was, yeah. I don't know who I had on the back, but I remember I used to wear that to bed every night. and. And I eventually, I remember mean, I was only about five or six, I had a little teddy and I used to put it on my teddy as well. And yeah, that's probably, that was probably my, my earliest, my shirt that I can remember having, yeah. First professional goal was West Ham. Uh, one of two, that's it. So, not many. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that was it, yeah, West Ham uh, at home, White Hart Lane. I don't know what I was doing in the box, but I just thought I'd make a run there. I thought, you know, it's my first Premier League start. I thought I've got to just make the box as much as I could. And, uh, you know, the gaffer gave me the position and the licence to just go forward and, and get the box. And, and um, yeah, I remember just Vincent shot and the keepers parried it. And I've, originally I thought I oh, soft side or something here. And I just smacked it in and just celebrated. And luckily it was, it, it's, the goal stood and everything, yeah, went on from there. And you did celebrate, didn't you? You ran the whole length of the pitch, I remember it. I think so, yeah. I think I hit top speed that game as well. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, you rapid. Speed, back from yeah. when you were a five-year-old. Yeah, that's it. I was rapid, yeah. I was the quickest I've ever run. Lithuania, I think it was. I think I was away with the 21s and just got called into the coach's dressing room. They just sort of said to me, you're going up with, with Gareth and the seniors and pack your bags, you're going now. Wow. Yeah. But what was that feeling like? So, you know, you're going to put on the senior shirt, represent your country. It must have been incredible. Yeah, it was, I mean, I never expected to play, to be honest. I thought, you know, I was just going up to play, uh, just to train, make up the numbers. I think there was a few injuries as well. So I never really expected to, to, to play, but it was more just let go, enjoy myself, be around. The, all the players' experience and, and uh, yeah, when I got the opportunity to play, it was again, it was just another another memory I can I can you know I'll never forget. We used to train as an academy boy. Uh, we used to train at White Hart Lane. There was a little ball court just off the off the stadium, and um, yeah, it was quite high up. And we used to train there with like indoor indoor astro turf and stuff. And um, I think I remember we we come down one after training one night and uh, all the first team lads, so Jamie Redknapp and all the boys, uh, yeah. they were walking through back then and and um, I think Teddy Sheringham was there at the time as well and they were all just walking through the car park and I remember you know, being with my dad and I was just, yeah, all the first team boys. I was only about seven, eight years old, you see all the first team boys, he was just like, what, what do you do? And I think my dad had a chat with Jamie Redknapp as well, I'm sure he said that. And Did you go up to them and say No, hello? no, I was just I was just standing in the distance, like, I was only little, I didn't know what to say, so I was just watching them from a distance and yeah, it was incredible, they were walking past and, and yeah, within touching distance, it was, it was, it was brilliant. Yeah. 